A new at 10, according to these court documents obtained by Fox 10 News, Terry Sullivan and Sammy Sullivan had started divorce proceedings in October. By January, Terry Sullivan was dead. Investigators believe it was her badly burned body found inside her car, which had been set on fire in Woods in Western Mobile County. By all accounts, the Sullivan's marriage was short and bitter. In court documents, both Sullivan's making serious and disturbing allegations of adultery, abuse, as well as illegal cockfighting. Terry and Sammy Sullivan married in June of 2017, according to the court documents, but separated less than a year later, both claiming the marriage was incompatible from the start. In Terry Sullivan's divorce petition, she claims Sammy Sullivan was physically and emotionally abusive and was guilty of adultery. Sammy had moved his ex-wife into the Sullivan's home, but here's the real shocker. Terry Sullivan claimed that Sammy was breeding and raising fighting roosters on their property. She was afraid she could lose the house if he was ever busted, so she sued to get her home back. She also maintained that she had never assaulted her husband, calling his charges baseless. Meanwhile, Sammy Sullivan claimed in his petition that Terry was physically and mentally abusive and even had her arrested on a domestic violence charge, claiming she had hit him in the head. He also requested the court to award him the home and have Terry Sullivan pay his lawyer's fees as well as provide alimony. Well, so far, no motive for Terry Sullivan's murder has been released by Washington County investigators, but they did refer to these documents, and the documents do provide a snapshot of a seemingly very short but ugly marriage. One ended not by a judge, but by her own husband, who's now accused of killing her by Washington County investigators.